At the end of 2015, Apple made the Swift language open source and available as they promised back in WWDC 15. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you go ahead and set up an Ubuntu 15.10 installation that I have here running on a virtual box to start working with the Swift language. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up the swift.org website over here and we're going to go to the download page. And on here you can see we have a snapshot and a signature for the 15.10 installation. That's what I'm actually going to be using. So I'm going to download those and I'm going to save them to my downloads folder. I'm going to save the signature file here as well so we can test the validity. And then once that is finished downloading, as you can see over here, I'm now going to go to my terminal and I'm going to change to my downloads folder and just verify that I have those two files. So I've got the signature file and the source file here. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is start following the instructions. So I'm going to click here to skip on down to the Linux installations. Just going to scroll past here. We already have the files we need. And let's just follow some of these instructions and see what happens. So the first thing we're going to do is install the dependencies. So sudo apt-get install and then just put in the file names that you need. And these should now go ahead and install. Yep, I want those packages. Just some prerequisite development packages here needed. This could take a while depending on your internet connection. Obviously, if you already have these libraries installed, you can go ahead and skip this part. This is a, a fresh install of Ubuntu that I'm working with. And this will be the first time that I'll be installing the Swift language, so I will need to import the PGP keys. If you've actually already done the Swift setup before, uh, there's no need to import the GPG, uh, PGP keys again, but uh, since this is a fresh install, I will be going ahead and doing that. And just to save time, I'm just going to copy and paste that instruction. So I'm just going to select this here and copy it. Make sure we get the whole thing. Just wait for this to finish over here in the terminal. Okay, so that's finished. I'm going to go ahead and paste in the code that I need here. Let's just clean this up a little bit. Okay, so we've got those. Uh, the alternative, of course, you could do the, the wget here, but uh, I'm going to skip that step since I did the previous one. So now we can go ahead and verify the files that we downloaded using the signature. So just to be sure, I'm going to select this line here, copy this, go back over to the terminal. Make sure we've got those. And so what we need to do now is just follow the instruction, put in gpg dash dash verify Swift and then the file name. So it's going to be dash two. Go to the end, and I'm just going to put the .si on the end there. All right, so it took me a couple of attempts, but there you go. So I verified the uh, key there, and everything's okay. It says that this key is not certified with a trusted signature, but if you look down here on the page, It'll actually say you may see this warning and assuming that you've downloaded it from a verified source, which we did, we downloaded it from swift.org here, everything should be okay. So the next step is, let's just scroll down the page here. Next step is to basically extract the archive file now that we've verified it. So we're just gonna untar the file. It's 
going to take a few seconds. And now when we look, you'll see that we actually have a Swift folder. And if you go inside there, as it says, you can see there's basically there is a user folder in there. And what I'm going to do for the sake of this example, uh, you should really put these files wherever you want. And in fact, they even recommend here, you know, you can add the Swift tool chain and the path, which you should be familiar with, hopefully. But I'm going to leave these files here for now, since this is just a demonstration version. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change into the user folder. And in there, you'll see there's a bin folder. And if we list those contents, we actually can run Swift from here. So what we could actually do if we wanted to run the REPL, I could just type dot slash Swift. And here we are. So we've got a running version of this, the 2.2 development version of Swift, and we have the REPL running. So just to prove it, um, I could say let A equal five, And so there you go, A is an integer of five. So there's some Swift for you. So that's a very basic way to get up and running. Uh, you really should add the path if you're gonna be using this properly. Like I say, I didn't bother with this just because it's an example. Uh, arguably, you know, you may wanna come up with some folder structures that'll work for you because I'm sure this is gonna be updated often. Or you could even, of course, go and get the repo and do it that way via Git. But this is a very straightforward way to get up and running with working with Swift on Ubuntu 15.10.